All right. Nice to meet you all. Um, I am here to talk to you about how Layer Zero and Ton are going to work together. So let's zoom out. Let's talk a little bit about blockchain. Let's talk a little bit about where the industry is at. Today, it's a highly fragmented place. Users in many, many different chains, including Ton. Capital allocated in many different places. And the result is people are building in silos. And when we build in silos, we limit cross-chain adoption. We limit our ability to move forward as an industry and fight centralized powers together by utilizing each other's technology and capital to build a better system. That's ultimately why we're here. That's why interoperability matters. And the user suffers quite a bit as well. We've all probably tried to bring our friends and family to try blockchains, and there's multiple wallets, multiple gas tokens, so many difficult experiences that don't lead them to experiencing the benefits that we've all had, I'm sure. And for developers, this is a very costly thing. Multiple data infrastructure stacks, lots of DevOps, intricacies of security principles of different chains. It's a mess. So layer zero is building a unifying protocol for universal blockchain applications, and we're coming to Ton. And I'll expand on that in a little bit, but to talk more about layer zero, we've already sent over 135 million messages across 85 connected chains. This includes EVMs, this includes non-EVMs like Solana, and there's been $50 billion in value transferred and the security principles behind layer zero are so strong that we actually have the largest bug bounty in the world, and we encourage anybody to help contribute to make it even stronger. So how does layer zero work? Well, first, layer zero is not a blockchain. It's a messaging protocol. It's a messaging protocol similar akin to something like TCP IP, but for talking between blockchains. And in this diagram, what you'll see here is an omnichain enabled application is able to communicate with a layer zero endpoint, which is deployed on every chain of those 85 chains that we just described. And they encode a message. And in that message, there could be OFTs, omnichain fungible tokens, ONFTs, NFTs that work on any chain, or generic data in which you want to then execute a complex DeFi action on another chain. And at this point, it then hits the modular security stack. So the modular security stack is pretty incredible. It allows a developer to customize their security to whatever needs that they may have. Anything that can produce a novel attestation method can be used in this security stack. So this could be multi-signatures, this could be ZK proofs, this could even be an entire blockchain that's utilized to attest to the data being exactly what was intended. Now, execution is separate from verification. That's a fundamental principle. And it, upon execution, it goes to a destination blockchain where the receiving application then receives the payload in sometimes a matter of seconds. So many, many projects are building on layer zero. We have 56,000 omni-chain contracts that have been developed. The market cap of all tokens that are built with layer zero is over $40 billion. And some very popular projects like Wrapped Bitcoin, which is one of the most popular DeFi assets um, in all of crypto, are enabled with layer zero. Uh, Stargate, as well as Pendle and EtherFi, which have billions of dollars in TVL also run on layer zero, as well as some of the most valuable NFT collections like Pudgy Penguins. And so they're all accruing massive value through Omnichain, through utilizing the core benefits of multiple chains. And this is why layer zero has produced 70% of all value transferred across chains over the course of the last year. So what's happening with Ton? Well, we've been hacking a lot with the core Ton team. And it really has started with a core set of principles, a core set of values that actually go back, I think, to the beginning of crypto, uh, even as early as Bitcoin. And it starts with immutability. Immutability means that something cannot be changed. 
and why that is so important when you're building a DeFi application or handling billions of dollars is that if something can be upgraded, the fundamental security principles of that smart contract are now vulnerable, either from malicious actors, we all have seen rug pulls in our industry, or sometimes it's just an accident that a you know, auditor doesn't catch and there's a very benign update a developer is making. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been lost that way as well. So the contracts that are being built together with Tawn are immutable. And with immutability, you then can have permissionlessness. And permissionlessness means just because the rails can't be corrupted, it means that you don't have to rely on a service provider to make your application. And this is very important because if Layer Zero Labs was to cease to exist tomorrow, any application built on this technology could continue to run. And ultimately, this creates censorship resistance. Now, I don't have to explain to this community why censorship resistance is very important, but it is incredibly important to remember that when you are building a protocol and you're building a complex DeFi application, that there are many, many places where if there's not censorship resistance, if somebody doesn't like a transaction, maybe it's moving a certain token value that you just don't find uh, equitable for your personal needs, it can be corrupted. So these values and these principles led us to do three rapid, complete rebuilds over the course of many, many months with the Ton team. The first version didn't meet the principles, so we rebuilt it again. The second version has many, many complexities in it in which we actually had to invent a new language, Fun C++, that was built on Fun C, because the object-oriented nature of updating smart contracts is much more efficient and much safer for dApp developers than having to manually encode and decode different things across smart contracts in Fun C. And so this led us to take what was, took another 10 weeks to be built, to be built in two weeks, and we also built a testing framework that allows for your unit tests to no longer have to work in JavaScript, but also in the native language of Fun C++. And so you can do your tests in two seconds. So a very, very fast developer experience, similar to something like Solidity, which has had many more years of development on it, but still with all the benefits that Ton has to offer, like sharding, like smart contract accounts and complex data structures. So we're very, very excited about what complex DeFi applications people will be able to build omni-chain working together layer zero and Ton. So what's coming early next year? A Ton endpoint connecting Ton to the mesh network of 85 blockchains that leads to many hundreds of billions of dollars of opportunity. Fun C++, a new object-oriented language. Uh, critical fixes and collaborations around the compiler to make that even better. Two-second unit testing framework. OFTs, these are omnichain fungible tokens. This means that any token that would be in Ton can also be used as an asset in other blockchains or other assets like Wrap Bitcoin can come to Ton. And Stargate support, which is a liquidity protocol that will enable this uh, to flow very efficiently uh, together. So we're really, really excited over the course of next year to see what this awesome community can build with Layer Zero. And I would love to talk to anybody who uh, is excited to build with us. So thank you for your time today and have fun hacking.